Hello there, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a particle brush effect all in Photoshop. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see I've opened up an image of a lovely snowy scene and you can do this with any image. But the first thing we're going to do is create our brush. So let's go to File and down to New. And depending on your version of Photoshop, this screen may look slightly different, but the important thing is that you can define the width and the height. So we'll go for a thousand wide and a thousand high, and we'll set the resolution to 300 so we have a nice high res brush to work with, and then click OK. So we've got our new document, and the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer from the bottom of the Layers panel, and this is where we're going to put our brush. So we'll grab the brush tool from the toolbar on the left and from the drop down arrow at the top we can load up our brushes. Now Photoshop's got some default brushes, these ones right here at the top that are absolutely fine so I'm just going to click on the soft round brush and you can see we adjust the size using the slider and we can also adjust the hardness. So if I bring the hardness up to 100% it looks something like this. And if I drop the hardness down like this, and if I bring it all the way to 0%, it looks like this. So for me personally, I like to have a little bit of hardness, but not too much. Just somewhere between 0 and let's say 50%. So I think I'll go for about 40. It just gives the particles a nice soft edge rather than something that's too hard or rather than something that is too soft altogether. So somewhere around this, but of course it's entirely up to you. So I'll just delete that layer and make a new one so we've got a nice fresh layer. And remember you can use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard to quickly decrease and increase the size of your brush. So I'm going to start by creating a small brush in the bottom right corner and just left click. And then I'm going to increase the size of the brush and do a larger one in this corner here. And then maybe do a medium sized brush over here and a really small one over here and then maybe one more here. Now it doesn't matter too much on the position of this because we're going to be using a scatter effect to mix all this up and randomize it anyway. But what really is determined by this is the density of your particle effect. So if you want to have more and more particles, you can add more brushes, or you could do this with just two or three brushes. It's entirely up to you. So once you've done that and you've defined what a single brush click looks like, we can switch off this background layer and we can then see how this looks on transparency and go up to edit and down to define brush preset. And we can give this a name and click OK. And you'll see this is now selected up here from our brush window. So we've got that there. And if we now switch back over to our tutorial document, we can then add a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel and we can left click and there we go. We've created our brush. Now, because we created our brush using black, it does allow us to pick any color and we're going to be using white to match our scene. So it's kind of like a particle snow effect. And doing this, so just left clicking and dragging, <laughs> isn't particularly effective. However, because we've defined our brush, we can do a few things with this. So next we're going to go to window and down to brush settings. And you'll see this panel appears here on the right. And we're going to focus on scattering. So let's check that box. And you can see down here it shows the path that our brush will take. So if we do something like this, you can see that how the brush looks when we drag across the canvas. However, if we crank up the scattering, in fact, I like to crank this all the way up personally to a thousand percent. When we brush around now, our brush is completely scattered around. And we can still adjust the size of this brush as well. So we could go for some smaller particles here and we could increase it and maybe just do a few single clicks. So we get a few larger particles there in the foreground. And then we could even create a new layer and do some really tiny particles in the background. 
So you can see we can really start to layer up this scene with lots of different particle effects. And if we go to the brush settings panel again, we can actually increase the count as well. So we can increase the density this way. We can switch over to shape dynamics and we can adjust the size jitter. So this is the variation in the size as well. So what we're doing by adjusting all of these properties is creating more randomness in the size, in the density. So of course, it does depend entirely on what you're going for, but there's loads of different settings there that you can adjust to create a variety of different particle effects in your scenes. And you can even select certain layers if you want to have smaller particles on one layer, larger particles on another. You could go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and start to blur particles. So you can see I'm applying a 21.9 pixel blur and it blurs some of these larger ones and then we could go to the other layer and put a very very subtle blur on the ones in the background so it's entirely up to you but there we go we've defined our particle brush and we've applied it to a scene and we are done and there we go, that's how to create a particle brush effect in Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.